Hello and welcome gaming fans, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, here to bring another stream, our continuing stream, of our Gloomhaven Digital. We are going to go back to playing with our level 9s for our Tinkerer Brute combo. It's been a little while since we played, so I thought it might be good to resurrect the game and bring it all back. Since we still need to finish the adventure and then unlock more characters to play with. Mm -hmm. They've had a few updates for anybody who hasn't played it in a while. They actually uh, unlocked one of the locked characters that you can choose to play with if you want. I won't say which, so we avoid spoilers. But if anybody's interested in seeing that, I'm sure you can find it if you want. Um, if you want to join our Discord channel for Day After Day Gaming, post a question on the general tab if you all are interested, and you could get to it from there. Other than that, we're pretty much just going to continue our adventure. Uh, feel free to chat if you have any questions or anything you want to talk about. We're, you know, Frost Haven's still got a few days left. On the Kickstarter campaign, last I looked, they broke eight million dollars. Not sure what they're at today, but I think they end on May first, so you still got a couple more days to lock that in if you're interested. Other than that, we're going to fight the High Cultist over here, so we're gonna have some Night Demons, Cultists, Sun Demons, and High Cultists. So traveling to the Twilight Chamber. All right. Let's see. Other than that, for anybody who hasn't been keeping up with Gloomhaven, they've added the forest biome. Was the last biome I believe they added. I don't think they've added another one. I mean, I have, haven't really paid attention for a month, so I will say I've been out for about a month. But the last update was the forest biome, where they added, like, imps and uh, some hounds and a couple other enemy types. So they're getting a lot of stuff in the game right now, but still no word that I've seen yet on when the next set of content's going to be coming out in terms of multiplayer and or the campaign. So we're still waiting on that, but until we get that data, we might as well at least enjoy what we got, which is our little adventure game here. So what do we have? We got a couple cultists. Not too bad. And then we got one of those nasty night demons. I don't like night demons. Because they give you the nasty uh, disadvantage every time you attack them with whatever attack you attack them with. So I think we're going to try to focus down these two guys. But I do, with my Tinkerer, have a pull. So what I think I want to do is switch to the Tinkerer first. Because I want to do my hook gun. What I want to do is... Put them there, because what I want to try to do is have the hook gun hook this guy and pull him into that trap, which is going to damage him for four. That plus the hook gun damage of two, not going to need much more damage to kill him. So hopefully, we'll have something else that we can use, a bottom attack card somewhere. I got one, I think. Ah, it's going to be slow, though. No, I don't have one. Never mind. We're going to do Net Shooter. We'll choose that as our default. Got some plans if we can make everything work. So we will see. With our Brute. If I go super fast. Ooh, too much stuff going up. If I can go super fast and move here, I can do like a, a skewer. That's what I want to do is try to do a skewer against both of those two. And see what we can do. So let's do. We've got to go faster than 19. So let's go provoking roar for our speed. And that'll give us two base movement, which should be good. And then we're going to do a skewer. So hopefully, between those two numbers, we'll go first. So let us see what happens. Oh, son of a. Of course, Night Demon is going first. Then Cultist. So already not doing well. It's okay.
We will take the four damage. We have 32 hit points. We're fine. Alright, I'm pretty sure I still want to do that same attack I was already planning on doing. We're not going to worry about the Night Demon. We're going to go ahead and take out these cultists, mainly because I don't like cultists. And I'm not planning on killing them myself, in theory. But we will see what we can accomplish. Oh, really? We got a times two on that one guy? He is so close to dying. Crap. I don't want to pull him into the trap. Now I want to pull that guy into the trap. Hmm. Mm-mm. Oh, well. Take the cards we're dealt. Ah, no damage. You suck. Okay, I think we're still going to try to pull off this attack. We're going to do something a little bit different, though. We're going to have to move to, to here. And then we're going to attack, grab him, pull him down to here when we finish. But let us go ahead and confirm the target. We did two damage to him. Of course, I didn't pay attention. He's probably going to explode right next to me, isn't he? Maybe we'll just break the game, apparently? Uh, apparently we really did just break the game, I guess. Uh, it hasn't quite finished, so apparently that has not been fixed yet. Their explosion thing. I was waiting to see if maybe he would, uh, like, come out of it, but I don't think he's going to. Alright. Ah, back to the main menu. Alright, take two. We're gonna have to load that now. And do something different, because that attack is not working right now for us, so... Yeah... It's always interesting to find things that are not quite working right, so... Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo! Alright, so now we're gonna do something a little bit different. <laughs> now that I know that's all broken, of course, we can kind of cheat a little bit now. You already know what speed they're going. But, I'm pretty much going to do the same attack, I'm just not going to do the pull now, because that pull with the cultist is broken. So instead of doing that, we'll do something different with our other guy. But I'm still going to kind of do the same Provoking Roar Skewer, because that still makes sense to do with our Brute. Going at 10. So for this guy, we're going to do something different now. Let's do a... We could also attack one range stun, because we can stun the guy for next turn. Hmm. You know what, we'll do reviving shock. Change it up a little bit. We'll just hit two enemies instead of the one just because of the weird bug we're getting. There we go. Oh, look, they pulled the same numbers. What a surprise! Four damage. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of metagaming at this point just because uh, we already know kind of what happens. But I, I stayed mostly faithful to what I was doing, so. With one caveat, I think we're going to go and add a... Uh, I 
maybe we'll add a plus two that we worth it. I've killed the one guy. Oh, maybe we'll just eagle eye goggles. Let's just do that. We're gonna eagle eye. Eagle eye! I'll go ahead and wound a guy too. Alright, cultist turn now. And we're going to attack that guy and that guy. Oh, we got a plus three on that one, really? I nice, got a plus one, at least we killed him off. Alright, so first free turn is kind of over. We cheated a little bit, but that's okay. It wasn't really our fault. The game broke. Okay, I'm mean, just saying. Alright, so we got that guy left. He doesn't have a shield, does he? No, I don't see one. He should be pretty easy to kill. We might as well just... Oh, we can just do attack five against him. Let's just do that. So we'll do a... Uh, I'm going to go kind of slow, though. No, we're going to do a skirmishing maneuver and unstoppable charge. It's not going to be too slow, but not super fast. That's okay. We're going to do stun shot and lethal injection sounds good. Attack two, range three, target three with muddle. Well, I guess it's a good thing that you're going to be stunned, aren't you? Oh, no damage, but he's stunned. Ha ha. And just to make sure extra fun, we're going to go ahead and move next to him and poison his ass. Skip the rest of the movement. Confirm the poison. Smash crackle. Alright. He is poisoned for now. So then next up... What are we going to do? In the turn, obviously. Can't really do that. No. Let's just use our. Oops, not that one. Base two movement for this one. And we're gonna try the attack five. I'm really hoping we don't draw like our null right now. If we don't draw a null, he's gonna be dead. That will do it. So I think that's still bugged, because I drew a pierce and a plus one. On a disadvantage, I should have kept drawing and ignoring the pierce until we got another positive or negative number, because it actually gave us both of them too, it looks like. Because I drew a five, I got a plus one, oh, he was poisoned, that's why, he was poisoned. Five, six, yeah. It didn't seem to count the pierce as a negative, so it must count it as a plus one or something. I don't know. They got a few bugs still to work out, but overall the game still works pretty well. Which, you know, fairly faithful to the board game. For what it is, it's a good adaptation until they... I really want to see the campaign, though, when it comes out. That's really going to... The campaign and multiplayer are really going to, you know, flesh it out for me. If they can get multiplayer in this game, I'd be more than happy to play it with others. You know, one person controls one character, the other person controls the other one. I think that'd be good. But... Right now, only we got single player, so we'll work with what we got. 
Alright, so let's go with that one, and... Hmm. Seems way too powerful to waste on this attack right now. And we'll do a spare dagger. We'll try to... One, two, three. I'll, I'll use my boots, open up the door, and we'll see what's in there. Extra doors? Yeah, just a one way. We are still in good shape. All right. Uh, tinkerer time. What do we want to do with our tinkerer? So we need to... We might just have to back up our guy this turn. So maybe we'll just do a heal. Do like a stamina booster. Let's do an ink bomb just to get a little bit of movement on here. We're going to go kind of slow on purpose. So let's end our turn. We are going to do a move three, add our boots on, which is going to give us seven total movement. This is going to be, what, five to there? Five to the door. And let us see what bad guys... Ooh, there's some bad guys. Ugh, well, this looks like the final room. Night Demon, moving three, attacking three. So he's not going to reach us. One, two, three. Best he can get us there. Uh, is the Sun Demon range? I'm thinking he is. No, he's not. Okay. So he won't be able to reach us. The Cultist won't be able to reach us unless we move to one of these two spots. So maybe what we'll do is we do have a range of three. So if we move here, we are going to get attacked. But it's going to be a fairly weak Cultist. So I think actually I'll be okay with that if we get attacked. And let's go ahead and attack him for three. We got a minus one. Eh. It could be worse. At least we did some damage. We didn't draw a null. Oh, what? I didn't even look at his card. Crap. That was dumb. There's a lot of hit points, too. Move five, attack two. Hmm. Well, all right then. We'll take that two damage. I love when they hurt themselves. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the one damage. Go away now. Okay. So we're going to move four. Best we can go is here. That's fine. And then we're going to go and heal our brute. Get him back up to 29. At least we're keeping him fairly healthy. And then I think we're going to have to end our turn. we got a lot of bad guys coming in, so... Going to have to figure out what we're doing with those guys. Maybe we'll pull back, actually. I don't know. We're going to face our end. That could be nice. Kill an adjacent normal or elite enemy. Face our end. Hmm. We could, like, kill the Sun Demon if he's the problem one. I'll think about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put on Leaping Cleave and... Actually, wait. One, two... Oh, I took... I already used my boots. Damn it. I forgot to use my boots. Yeah, we're going to do... No, not that one. These two. Yeah, we're going to be taking some punishment next turn, though. Hmm. We'd be better off standing in the doorway and taking hits. Just because then only two enemies are going to get to us. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to keep that on for now, and we'll see what happens. But next up is going to be our Tinkerer. So this one's going to be a little trickier. We need to get a bunch of damage 
relatively quickly on these things. Flamethrower would be good, but I don't have a good placement for it. Oh, can I do some pulling? Yeah, we could do that. We could do a hook gun. Alright, I think I got a plan. We'll do those two attacks. Oh, crap. So, High Cult is going to move three, attack four, range three. Sun Demon's going to heal three, range three. Target all allies within range for heals. Well, that sucks. And then Night Demon's going to move to attack five. And cultists to summon living bones. That's the problem, too. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to do some something here. We are going to take the three damage. Alright, so I'm actually planning on grabbing him and pulling him. If I can at least get the two damage, he should die. Hopefully, our trap won't break. Because that could be a problem if it does. I don't think I want to use my stun powder because that's the only one I got. And I'm hoping we'll just kill him instead. Nice, nice. Now do the pull. Right into the trap and please don't freeze on us. Okay, perfect. So that one worked. See, I think the other one broke because of the... Um... Explosion thing, because the explosion thing hasn't really seemed to ever work properly. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. One more health point. Okay, do I have anything I can use right now? Invisible. Two cards. Oh, yeah, that could be useful right now. Actually, that would too. Right, we're gonna go in lucky eye. We're gonna do scroll stamina. That's gonna get our brute back a couple cards. I think Unstoppable Charge would be good, because that'll give us a attack of five. I think Spare Dagger would be good. I like the range attack. He doesn't have a lot of range attack, so I always like putting those in there if I can. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn with the Tinkerer. Now it's our Brute. Oh no, it's... He gets to heal first, which sucks, because now he's up to full. You know, we could do... the pull and grab the cultists and pull him in there. Maybe it'll kill him. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to move... What's the range on that? Range 4. It's a lot of range. Alright, we're going to move to here. Skip the rest of our movement. Attack 2. Let's grab 1. It's 4, right? No, target 3. What? No! That's not what I was trying to do. Crap. I messed that attack up. Ugh. Oh. Alright, we're gonna have to back that up. Screw that attack up. We're trying to make sure I click the right people and I click them twice. Definitely wanna back that up. I'll do the same stuff, that way it's not gonna be cheating.
On those big attacks, they really need like a confirm button or something. You know? Alright, Leaping Cleave, Facer End. And he was doing Restorative Mist and Hook Gun. Alright, back to where we were. Yeah, do your stuff. Give me the three damage. Alright. So, back to what we were doing. Now we were attacking him. Confirming. Did the two damage. And then we pull him to here. And he will die. Then we'll move to here. Heal our brute. Okay. End the turn. Oh, I didn't. Ah, I didn't get the other stuff back. Crap. Nah, it's okay. We'll go with this. I was gonna use strength and stuff on him, but oh well. All right. So what I want to do is make sure we have. This guy, this guy, this guy. Confirmed. Nice of us three. Unfortunately, that's not gonna be enough to kill him, is it? Crap, so close. What I'm trying to do now is just set him up best I can for next turn. Uh, the cultist does die because they take two damage when they summon skeleton. So, unfortunately, he did summon a skeleton, but at least we killed him before he got too far. So now we're left with just two cards for our brute because I forgot to do the card I was going to pull. But we're going to go with what we got. So I'm going to do that one and. Um, hmm. Flamethrower may not be a terrible idea here. I mean, I know I'll take some damage, but I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're going to throw on Flamethrower. I may not use it, but we will see what they do. Crap. They're healing again. Son of a... Moving four, attacking three, and they're going invisible. Crap, I'm not going to attack the Night Demon. Sun Demon's going to be healing. Cultist moving, attacking. Living Bones moving, attacking, and then summon Night Demon for the Cultist. Really? Oh, I didn't know they'd summon Cultists. Oh, well, that sucks. Give me the damage. Hmm. I still feel like that's going to be a good card to use. You don't have Quietus up. I still have a stun item on our 
guy, I think, don't I? I do still have stun powder. So I could stun somebody, and if I can move him around, I'd have to do a trample, though. I could then kill somebody with stun. So, like, if I go over here and stun this guy, can I even get to him, though? I don't think I can reach him. Hmm. It's like just out of range of everything. Wait, I have boots. Don't I have boots? I do, so I could do... Alright, I think we're going to do this. We're, we're going to try to do is get to the... Um, Sun Demon, because I want to get rid of him. He's the one healing people right now, and if I can get rid of him, I think we'll be in good shape for doing some other attacks, hopefully. So here's the plan. We're going to do our two base movement here. We're going to use our boots, and then we're going to go to the backside of the Sun Demon. No, that wasn't the right place. Right here was the right place. Good thing I had an extra movement. Then we're going to do our flamethrower attack right here. You know what? Let's go and add a major power potion. And then we're going to add the stun powder and stun the sun demon. Confirm all that and see what happens. Well, we didn't draw the null, so that's good. The skeleton's actually going to die. He's going to take some damage. Sun Demon. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Alright, now I should probably use some crap here now. Oh, I should have lucky-eyed first. Crap. Alright, what do you need? You need something back. Um... <sighs> Leaping Cleave may be good here, because we've got a bunch of enemies, but we're going to need something fast to go with it, so maybe we'll do Spare Dagger, I like that one, or do you go with this one and just kill somebody off? But oh, we can't target the guy right now. Hmm. Ah, we'll just do... We'll do Unstoppable Charge. <laughs> Alright. What is that? Recover two of my discarded cards. May not be bad. Let's see what we got. Let's get back. I got some AoE stuff that might be useful here. Of course, still with the Stun Shot. Let's get back to Stun Shot. Because that's normally a pretty good one. And lethal injection. Did that kill a normal or elite enemy? I think we can make something between those two work for next turn. I always like to plan ahead if possible in the game because you never know what the enemies are going to draw. It's true of the board game as well. And I like to keep my options open. I like to kind of try to think of a couple different attacks I can do with the cards I pick just in case people move before I do, or vice versa. So I always like to try to, you know, get the cards that I think will be the most helpful. Why is saying I do this again? It's weird. Okay, and then turn. Ah, no damage from the cultist. Okay, so let's see if we can make this work right. So what I want to do is move and do one, two, three, four to there. Do I want to use my potion? We're only hitting two guys, but... 
I think we'll be okay. Don't feel like that's a good place to waste it, so I want to hold on to it a little bit longer. Then we're going to use Quietus to actually kill our Sun Demon. I mean, I could have probably killed him normally anyway, but I'd rather do that because then their healing source is gone. Unless the High Cultist heals. If not, he'll just be losing one hit point every turn for the next 13 turns until I kill him. Which also works, in my opinion. Alright, so let's end the turn there. Living Bones dies. The other one's going to attack our Brute for, ooh, five damage. You know what? We are going to take it. Take it all! Take it, fool, take it! Alright, he summoned another Night Demon. We only got two cards left. I want to go ahead and use them so that we don't waste too much time. Now I want to do Stun Shot along with... Do I want to waste Stun Shot? Hmm... Yeah, yeah. Stun shot on lethal injection. I want to try to kill off one of these two guys. I know I'll lose the card, but I still think it'll be worthwhile. And I need to move four because in case I go before the night demons, I need to get to this night demon who's not invisible. This one's still invisible, so I can't even see him even though we know he's there. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. What in the hell? Night demon's moving two, attacking five, 41, so that's good. Move three, attack two, target one enemy with all attacks. That's not a big deal. How many attacks did they get? Two right now? I can't look right now. It's okay. Uh, attack two, range three, target all enemies within range. Darkness is not in the air, so you can't curse, although Night Demon's going to put it in there, and then he's going to use it. So we're going to get cursed. Not much we're going to be able to do about it this turn. All right, so we're going to move four down to... Yeah, I think we can move down to the coin. I'll be okay with that. Then we're going to kill an adjacent normal or elite enemy. We're just going to go ahead and kill this guy off just because I don't want to deal with him. I know it'll lose the card, but I still think that is a good move. End the turn. Or what's this? Ah, uh, no. No, I'm good. End the turn. I'm not really low on health yet, so I don't feel like I need to go invisible. You know, it's not really bothering us yet. So I feel like we're still okay. Now, we have an attack two and attack five. Let's go ahead and strengthen ourselves. I think I may just actually go ahead and attack everything against the boss, actually. I got two separate attacks I can do. That'll be seven damage, and I might be able to buff it up a little bit. Eh, nothing I need to buff. I'm okay. Ooh, I could stun him, though. That would be good. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to attack two against our little guy here. We're going to go ahead and stun him with our stun powder. Oh, shit. Let's add curse, too. Confirm. Muddle and plus one. So I guess we're going to get the plus one. Oh, plus the muddle? Really? All right. Whatever. Then we're going to attack five against the same guy. But we're going to add plus two to it. Oh, he's dead. Sweet. He's going to die when his turn comes up. That actually was a good attack. Let's continue onward. And you know what? Let's go and refresh all of our spells bent items. That'll recharge all of these items except the cloak, which is a invisibility cloak. Which, by the way, I still find very useful in the adventure mode to have that cloak. I don't know why, but it seems like it's very useful for avoiding damage, and it really helps uh, save the day in some cases. It has kept me alive many, many times in the past. Ooh. Ten damage. Normally, I'd be worried about that, but honestly, I'm not really in 
too bad of shape right now. So I will go ahead and take the 10 damage, but in a normal game, I would say never take a times two that's that much, because it is so much damage. But again, in the adventure mode, we get a boost to our health. So, I mean, I had 24 health. The regular Tinker has what, like 15 or 12 or something? A 10 damage hit would almost kill me. Bye-bye, hi, cultist. Alright, so we don't really have time for a long rest. We're definitely going to have to do a short rest. Yeah, I'm fine with losing Skewer. And I think... Oh, we still got two things left. Let's use those two up, just to get rid of them. Ooh, what do we have? Unstoppable charge and provoking roar. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see if we can kill off the old Skelly. And for the Tinker, oh yeah, we only had two options, so I got to wonder what we're gonna do. All right, those attacks are not too shabby. You know, I could though move and stun both enemies. Then they won't be able to hurt us. Not a terrible idea. I know I'll lose the card, but I still have lots of cards left, but I don't know if we'll do that. Feels like a waste. Let's just attack the Skelly for five. You know, we're gonna curse him and should we wound him too? Yeah, you know what? Let's wound him. Yeah, nine damage. He, he's he's kind of dead. And let's get that chest because it's just staring at me in the face. So totally need the chest. Totally need it. Thirty gold. No, I want more items. Thirty gold. Stupid. Oh, another times two. Really? Dang. All right, whatever. Give me my damage. Alright, we're going to do a super big attack here, but if I am so have such bad luck that I'm going to uh, screw it up, I'm going to put on Strengthen, so hopefully I can't get a Gnome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a huge, huge attack against this guy. Attack of 10 right now. If we miss, I'll be very upset. Well, I can't miss, right? He's going to die. Even my 2 damage pushes down to 3. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, that ends the match. And so, to the spoil. Searching the headquarters, you are again disappointed to find a distinct lack of treasure. But you do happen upon a young cult member hiding under a smashed table. You inform him that it would be in his best interest to explain where the loot can be found. Now, for everybody watching who thought that was a little bit easy, it was. The difficulty for the red leader style missions uh, follow a pattern. So normally what you do when, when you start the game is you go straight towards the red object and fight the first boss with very little gear and equipment and all that. I did not do that. I ended up walking around and then the path I ended up taking didn't lead back to the guy for a very long time. I tried to get back to him, but it led me like in a big, big circle. So you can watch some of the previous streams we did, but um, that was actually way below my level. I think by at least two levels below, I think they were level two. They should have been level five, or maybe level three, I don't know. I don't know what level they were, but they were definitely easier than they should have been. So in case you're wondering, that's why when I go and fight normal monsters, it will be much closer than what that was. So our next step is to get to the Altar of Bones. Uh, he explains that the High Cultist has been transporting their wealth to an abandoned necropolis a distance from here where he had been performing strange experiments. <gasps> oh no! Not strange experiments! Yeah, so this one might be more on level. I don't know how many bosses you normally fight. Um, 
The only reason for that is I tend to just to play but never actually finish a campaign. I keep trying different characters out and we just never make any progress. So I'm really trying to stick with this one and just finish the campaign so we can start a new one. But, uh, yeah. So we'll see. Oh, apparently we're heading back to Gibbet Hill. I even tell it to walk. Oh, well. Where to now? Ah, are we at a shop? We have a wandering merchant. Nothing I'm really that interested in. But I did see the enhanced thing is here. Alright, I did not know this was added into the game yet. So they did add in enhancements where you can enhance cards that you use all the time. So... That's good. I just need to figure out what I want to upgrade. So I do have 566 gold, so... I do have lots of gold we can add to things. So what I really have to find is something I really want to... use all the time. Like... Where's that new one? Face your hand? Like this one with the attack 2, target 3. Adding more attack to that or adding like a, a wound or a curse or something. That could be really useful. Or even like a poison or something. It's just not a great amount of damage is the only problem with it. We're not going to worry too much about the enhancement stuff at the moment, because I'll have to ponder that and figure out what I want. So instead, I'd rather just play for tonight, and maybe I'll do that uh, off screen. Just to save some time, because that, that may be very, very time consuming, and I don't want you all to have to have to sit through that. So instead, let's travel to Amber Hill. How long have we been going for here? Only 47 minutes. Yeah, we got time. So we're going to travel to Amber Hill. That's going to be medium three scenarios. We're at 49 gold. Staff of summoning 63 gold or 49 XP, which we're already maxed out. Doesn't matter. But let's travel to the village of Amber Hill. I'm hoping. I mean, it looks like it's in the general direction. First stop is the Sickly Bog. Ugh. This one's not going to be fun. It's going to have night demons and forest imps and cultist elites and forest imp elites. I hate imps, they suck. Imps just give you curse after curse after curse. I hate them. Yeah, see, this one's level 5, so this one's definitely on level. Level 5, Night Demon. 17 health. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, 17 health. That one's going to be a pain, but it's the only one in this room, so that's good. I don't see any traps, so I think we just have to deal with that, with that Night Demon. Alright. So we definitely need something to slow him down, as it were, because he is going to... Let's put it... Put it bluntly, he's going to get to where he's going to attack us a bunch, right? You know he's going to do it. So what we're going to try to do is do a provoking roar, go at 10. Hopefully we can go before him, but who knows if we'll actually get it or not. We're going to try to do a disarm against him so that way he won't be able to attack us back, in theory. And then what we're going to do is need a bottom card. We'll do overwhelming assault. And then with our Tinkerer, what I want to kind of plan on is doing stun shot, but my hope is that I'll go after him because if we can get, if he doesn't draw a seven, because I know they have a seven, we saw that last time. If I can get in there before the seven, 
stun him, maybe, or sorry, disarm him, he won't be able to attack back. And then if I wait for him to go, then we'll actually be able to come in behind him and then do a stun, so that way he'll be stunned through his whole next round. So what I'm going to do is I'm choosing Lethal Injection for two reasons. One, move four, poison. I do want to actually poison him. And then I want to stun shot him. I don't care if I'm disadvantaged because I'm really doing it for the stun, not the one point of damage, right? So we're going to go at 85 on purpose just to go slow. And hopefully he won't draw a seven. Oh, he drew a four. Oh, even better. Well, that threw my whole band plan awry a bit. Oh well. Oh, but the good news is he completely missed. Yeah, it's still our best move to a disarm him. Because it's not really worth doing attack of six. I mean, it's good for damage, but I don't really want to lose the card right now on the first turn, you know? We still got lots more enemies coming up. I don't want to lose the card in the first round if I can help it at all. So we're just going to go ahead and do a regular attack, but maybe we'll add a... You know what? Let's add a curse and a wound. I'm not even going to bother moving. We're right next to him. We're just going to do that. End the brute's turn. Now our tinker. So I'm going to move four to here. Skip the rest of my move, move, uh, skip the rest of my movement just so we can poison him. That's the whole purpose of coming over here. I know we don't have to poison him. Or don't have to worry too much, but I just feel like it'd be better. Now we're gonna have a disadvantage, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Really? We drew a wound on that? So annoying. Look at all those thing modifiers he has now. All right, end the turn. Now, fortunately, we cannot use Quietus. I wish we could, but he's an elite. Therefore, we cannot use Quietus because it only works against normal enemies. So, I think we're just going to try to load up some attacks against him. So, let's do maybe Skirmishing Maneuver, probably good, because we can get two. Two, that's really four attacks before damage total. And then we need a bottom attack. I have one spare dagger. Hmm. Or we can do quietus instead and just add extra damage to it. I feel like that'd be a good move. Let's just do that. Save the dagger if we need to run away or something. All right, then our Tinkerer, we need to... Oh, we don't need to get any health back. He's already poisoned, so all we really need to do is just do some damage to him. So... If I go before the Brute and add the Enhancement Field, we both get extra damage, which I like. So maybe we'll do that. Why don't we do... Toxic Bolt with Enhancement Field, and that will go before him, and we'll be done. Okay, Night Demon's going at 7, but he's stunned, so he can't do anything. And then we're going to add some damage. And I know I can use the Toxic Bolt for my attack 2 range 3. I will be muddled if I do that. But it will put Earth in the air, and I'm not sure if our Brute could use the Earth or something. Actually, I do know. He really can't. I could always just do a regular attack 2, though, but I want to go ahead and put it in the air in case there's something I could do with it. Probably not, but let's just do it anyway. It'll be fine. So we did 4 damage to him, and... Tinker is done. Alright, now we're going to do this to give us some more attacks. We're going to skip the movement. Confirm the extra damage on us. And now we're going to get attacks of four, I believe, each attack. Yeah. 
We're not even, do we want to add the eagle eye goggles? Mm, I feel like we might. Because if I draw a null, I'd be really sad. At the same time, we could probably kill him without it. Let's do it. Rather be safe. Oh, we're gonna skip our movement and give you one more little attack. Really? Really? A times two? A times two? Man. Well, that was a lot of damage to him. That we killed him in two turns and took no damage. That is a definite check mark off the win right there. But unfortunately, now the putting Earth in the air did absolutely nothing because there's nothing to attack. So now, why don't we get us some movement on? Damn, I think all the movement is leaping cleave right now. That's only three. I have to use my boots just to get in there, so I guess we'll do spare dagger to throw a dagger at something and put on some leaping cleave. We're going to use our boots just to get in that other room. Then our tinkerer. I don't know what's going to be in the other room, but I feel like if we do that and move four, which is on ink bomb with reviving shock, maybe we should go slower. Nah, we'll just go there. It'll be fine. Let's end the selection and see what happens. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use our boots to give us seven movement to get us to the door. Was that five again? Oh, crap. Alright, well, we got another night demon, but he is, I guess, what you would call a regular, well, regular night demon, but this guy bothers me. And of course, they're going to move three, attack three, range four, curse. So I, I'm not going to be safe from him no matter where I go. This night demon is also going to attack four, ooh, four damage. But what's his movement? Yeah, they're both going to get to me no matter where I go. It would probably be better just to go ahead and move in and attack. What does he have? Two shield? So the problem we have with that guy is he's going to... He has two shields, so getting through the shield is going to be a problem. And I didn't put a pierce attack on. Because I can stop here and fire at him. But I gotta get through two shields, so I'd have to buff him up with probably a strengthen along with a plus two attack, and then maybe I could kill him, so I guess we're just gonna do that. Let's just let's skip the rest of our movement. We're gonna attack for three, pop the plus two, attack him. Just stun him. Let's save that for the elite. I was going to strengthen too. Crap. Oh, well, let's hope for a plus one. Oh, times two. Well, okay, that works. We will take it. Eight damaged him, killed him off one turn. Yeah. I like that. Now our other guy. He's going to attack for f four. I could use my cloak now, but I feel like we should save that. So why don't we just... Wait now, we're going to end the turn. Let the Night Demon move, attack us for four. Hopefully he'll not get a times two. Oh, he got a minus two. See, I like that. We're going to take two damage. Perfect. And now let's get in there and attack. So we're going to move four. Move to there. He's two squares away, so we can skip the rest of our movement and then do an attack three, range three, target two. We only have one target, though, because we killed the other one, but that's okay. We got damage of three. All right. 
and the turn. We should definitely use Unstoppable Charge. We're going to go Skewer and Unstoppable Charge. What we're going to try to do is maybe I'll Strength him first and then attack him, which means I shouldn't draw a disadvantage, in theory, if that's programmed in properly. Then, why don't we... We'll do Restorative Mist just in case the guy goes faster and hurts our Brute. Then, why don't we do a... Hmm. Don't have any good attacks right now. All of my attacks are I'll lose. Except the hook gun. I guess we'll put on the hook gun. Of course, Night Demon's gonna go seven. Why not? Crap, and he's going invisible. I won't be able to attack him. Son of a... I'll just waste those two cards. Well, might as well just heal. And, uh... Oh, I can get in there. I guess, I guess we'll go in. No reason not to, I guess. Okay. Well, unfortunately, our unstoppable charge was stopped. So... I, I guess we'll just move to a coin, if we can. Actually, can we? Now we're blocked. Let's move to here. I don't know another real move to do. Cause look, can't attack, can't attack. What's not there? Very annoying. All right, we only got two cards left, so let's just use them. Hopefully, we'll be able to do something. Probably also need to go slow with. Oh, I can't really go slow. No, forty-eight slow. So let's just do that. We'll get a heal on in case we get attacked. And I guess we'll just do harsh stimulants. I don't really have any other good cards. No, not harsh stimulants. Net shooter. All right, we're gonna let him attack on purpose because we really don't have a good move anyway. We're gonna take six damage. We're gonna go ahead and heal for four. And then, just for fun, we're going to mobilize him. Then move away square. Yeah, son! Alright, next up, end the Tinker's turn. Okay. Could stun him for next turn. I still feel like we might want to save that for the next room, though. Let's just attack him. You know what? That actually worked, so I'm okay with that. I could still kill him, but I don't really want to waste the cards. We are completely out of cards now. We're actually in a long rest. Because he can't move, so anything he... Unless he has range, which I don't think they have range. They're not going to be able to do anything anyway. So we're going to do the Harsh Stimulants and the Flamethrower. Let's go 47, and we'll see what he does. End the turn. Oh, look at that. Move 4, attack 4. <gasps> you can't move, sucker. Oh, 
oh yeah, guess what? You also can't hurt us. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so what we're gonna do with him is we're gonna move in two. Then we're just gonna do our base damage of base attack. Oh, sorry guys, get the movement first. Do our base attack of two, so that way we don't lose any card. Because I could do attack of nine, but why? He's two hit points. Hopefully if we don't null, we kill him. And we do. Perfect. Perfecto. Alright, let's end the turn. Because that's awesome. Now we have to lose a card, but because we long rested, we get to choose the card we lose. So I'm thinking Skewer maybe. I know it has the Pierce, but we have to put Wind in the air, and I think we only have one card that does that, which is the Leaping Cleave, so not enough Wind to worry about at the moment, so I think I want to get rid of Skewer. All right, the other reason I did that was to get our weapons and boots and helm back. We got everything. All right, so now let us end the brute turn. We also got two hit points back. Why not? Now with the Tinkerer. I could long rest, but I don't need any items back. So it is, it is pretty much a waste to long rest. I don't want to lose the turn, so we're just going to short rest. Lose a card at random. We lost Reviving Shock. I like the card, but that's okay. I can survive without it. So, let's see. I kind of want to do Trample and go big, but my concern is if there's nobody on the other side of the door, like it's a big tile, be screwed. It's not a huge tile, but... Yeah, I can hit. I can hit a lot of stuff in there. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do a... We're going to do a trample. I'm not going to go at that speed, though. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Wouldn't hurt anything. But I want to do that for the move. For Although I'm going to lose my attack 3 pierce 2. Which I kind of need because of those fairies in the next room. Alright. You know what? Let's do it. Go big, go home, right? We're going to trample into the next room. Then we're going to set up for... Unstoppable charge, maybe? Could be good, right? We're going super slow, though. Yeah, let's do a... We're going to do the provoking roar and go at that speed. This is only because we can go in there and trample somebody and then end next to somebody and then disarm them so they can't attack us. I feel like that would be a good move. Next up, our Tinker. What is our Tinker going to do? Let's see. We, we are probably going to want to stun somebody. Because there's probably going to be some bad guys in there. So let's stun. And we're going to need some movement. So I guess Ink Bomb. What we can do? Lethal Injects. Let's do that one. End the selection, and let's get this mission on. All right, so first up, whoops, wrong button, is our Brutus, Brutus Maximus. All right, we're going to do a uh, trample. We're going to add the boost. This is going to give us eight movement, and every square we trample through will give us extra, or will give us two attack. That was a pretty terrible setup in this room. There's a night demon that has to walk out through a trap. Ugh, it's a terrible setup. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what are they doing? Moving three, range four, curse. Cultist is moving three, attacking two on death deck five. And you're just going to move three, attack six, so... Is that like all eight of my movement? One. I did one. I have seven left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we stun, but then he's gonna attack us for two. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Sucks to only get one trample. I was hoping there'd be more enemies in this room.
means. Oh, minus one means we do no damage. However, he is still disarmed. So he cannot do anything back to us. Should have poisoned or wounded him. Crap. Oh, too late now. Three damage, whatever. Now, if we use our boots, we actually could get next to the imp here and actually just kill it instead of wasting a attack. Should have done that. We're still going to do that, I think. I'd still like to kill them off. They're really a pain to fight. I'd rather just be rid of him. I can kill the cultist. The only thing the cultist is going to do is summon a living bones, but if we stick him in the corner, actually, he won't be able to do that. So... I like this. I know it loses a card, but I still feel like that would be a useful ability to use. Alright, end the tinkerer's turn. My demon, he's going to have to move out because he doesn't have any other path. But he takes seven damage, which is great for us. Bad for him. Alright. Next up. So we need to work on the cultist and we need to get this guy. So... One, two, three, four... Range of three, but I can add another attack, but it's not enough pull damage to pull him to the trap. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and use skirmishing maneuver. No. Spare Dagger, and Unstoppable Charge. So we'll do the bottom of that and the top of that one. And then our Tinkerer. Maybe we'll do a Net Shooter, just to immobilize the guy. I like the sound of that. Uh, provided he doesn't go first, which most likely he will anyway. Don't do an ink bomb, too. Alright, happy with that. Now, of course, the Night Demon goes to four. He's actually going to come over to our Tinkerer. I should have used Hook Gun. Because then I could have moved here and pulled him into it. Crap! It's not the Ink Gun, the Hook Shot. Hook Gun. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm still full health, so four damage is still nothing. <sighs> Whatever, give me the three damn damn. Are we going to mobilize them? Confirm. Move down to the corner here. Skip the rest of our movement, and then we're going to attack him for four, because I can. You piss me off. And look who's dead. Ha ha ha. Alright, now we're going to attack him for two. And while we're here, let's go ahead and curse. Wound and stun. Confirmed. Oh, we drew a null. Crap, well that's good all was on the plus two. Now I get an attack of five and my null's already gone. No null for me. Too bad, so sad. What? They got a null. But I got a null on the two, not the five, so it's good. Oh that's good. I hope everyone is having fun on his street. Yay. Why not? It's Gloomhaven. I always have fun on Gloomhaven. Yes, it's Gloomhaven. 
Do, do, do. All right, so I don't really have much to do here, but just attack the guy a bunch. Unfortunately, he's elite. I could. Oh wait, I could just kill him though with that. Do we have a way to get the chest? One, two, three, four. Might as well loot the money first, right? Let's loot some stuff first. I won't kill him yet. We'll just do a skirmishing maneuver and. Overwhelming assault, why not? I need to move a bunch. Oh, I have a loot too, but I'm not in range. I need to move three. I need to move three. What do I have to move three? Nothing, because I used all my move. That's all right, we'll just move to there. And then we will attack for three. Oh, we just your times two. Uh, and I gotta be careful, I don't wanna kill the guy too quickly. Because I was gonna get the chest and I was gonna loot two next turn. Actually, I can move three, and that at least gave me the chest. We'll just do that. If he dies, he dies. Attack! Oh yeah, he's totally dead. It's weird there's like this delay when I do my attack. It's weird. Alright, then we're gonna move three to the chest. At least we'll get that before we end the turn. And we get a black knife! Not bad, it's it's curse damage. I like curse. I like to curse the enemy. Especially since those stupid imps do it to us all the time. Screw those imps. Alright, so our current two paths now are Bandit Guard, Bandit Archer, Bandit Archer Elite. Or, we can go Sun Demon, Cultist, Night Demon, Cultist Elite. I think the Bandits are going to be the better path. But let's see, it's getting close to 11. I'd be spending at least another hour fighting these next two battles, probably, so we're probably going to end here a little bit earlier than I wanted to tonight. But it is 11 o'clock. Eastern time, so probably a good place to stop. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll try to pick this one up. I might try to make this a Monday stream. I'm trying to come up with streams that we do every day, or not every day, but on certain days. Tomorrow we are doing our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stream with our uh, Adventures game. Uh, we're planning on doing a competitive game where it's Cat versus myself. I'll be playing the villains and she'll be playing the heroes. We're going to do the tutorial that we just played recently in Seafall because we already have it out and ready. So she'll be playing as Splinter, April, Old Hob, and Slash. And then I'll have the Purple Dragons and the Foot Ninja fighting against her to see if I can stop her. Or maybe if I decide tomorrow, I might try out Angel Bridge and switch one of my characters out. Oh yeah? Okay. I might. Okay. If I can't, I'm going to go look through Angel's ability cards because maybe I like one of those over what I have. So if you want to see something a little bit different than the Gloomhaven digital stream, check out our series of TMNT adventure games and see how you like those board games. Other than that, have yourself a wonderful, excuse me, rest of your evening. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow on our TMNT Tuesday. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, I think so. Turtle Tuesday, TMNT Tuesday, I don't know. It's something, something like that. Like that. Something like that. 
Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your evening. Good night, all. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> this is Bobby from Day After Day Gaming. And I'm Kat. I wasn't here at the beginning. I just entered for no good reason. Keep on gaming day after day. Have a wonderful evening.